Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call. Today, Tuesday the 16th of May. Before we get started, as always, please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, let's kick off and have a look at what's happened overnight. Um, Starting in China, we had uh, industrial production, retail sales growth slows down in March with numbers coming in at 6.5%. So how did this affect our Aussie dollar? We all know that uh, China affects our Aussie dollar quite a lot. Well, yesterday was a day where our Aussie was taking cues from the US dollar and um, the greenback pretty much lost ground against all the majors bar the yen. Um, it seems that investors are getting skeptical about the Fed's intentions to raise rates in June and as a result they're selling US dollars so um, our Aussie dollar went up uh, a little bit yesterday. If we move along and have a look at uh, in the UK we had Prime Minister May was speaking uh, she took questions in her first ever Facebook live session with around 40,000 comments being posted during the question and answer session. Uh, overall the GBP had a tight trading range and this event didn't really cause any major market movements um, so there was not much action so to speak from this. All right, that was pretty much all that happened yesterday. It's time to have a look at our chart of the day. Now yesterday's chart of the day we had a, I think we hit full targets, two to one targets on, on that trade if you're trading a two to one target. Today our trade of the day, sorry our chart of the day is the GBP JPY on a daily chart. Now you can clearly see I am showing you it were it would appear that we are in uptrend. We've uh, pulled back uh, into this region here and I've highlighted for, highlighted for us uh, two candles. It is a body engulfing candle situation. So the way that you would normally trade that is you could either wait uh, to the current candle to finish um, and before you take your trade but that's typically not the way that you would trade it. You normally just open a position on the new candle which has just started and you can see the little red one right now is uh, about uh, two hours old at the time of this recording and it's a slight better price than where it opened. So there you have it. That is our chart of the day. It's the pound yen on a daily time scale. Let's move along and have a look at what is uh, unfolding in this event that is about to start. Well, at 11.30 today, we have monetary policy meeting minutes from Australia. At 6.30 this evening, we have CPI numbers from the UK, 10.30 in the US building permits, and at 8.45 tomorrow morning before I do the next daily call we have PPI input numbers from New Zealand. Uh, of course guys these times are all in my local time which is Australian Eastern Standard uh, Time otherwise known as Sydney time. So there you have it that's what's happening in the session that is about to unfold. As always please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly have a fantastic trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.